Waves 5 is about diffraction gratings. In my last video we had two slits, now we're going to have lots and lots and lots of slits. A diffraction grating can have, if you look at this diagram, 1200 lines per millimetre and that's a lot of slits. A diffraction grating has many slits per millimetre and they produce maxima which are very bright at very definite, very measurable angles especially if you use this device called a spectrometer and you can measure the angle to the nearest minute. One calculation you must be able to do, if the grating has 60 lines per millimetre, then what is the slit separation? Well, 60 lines per millimetre is 60,000 lines per metre and 1 over 60,000 is that. And be able to do that calculation. Okay, the equation for a diffraction grating, I guarantee you'll have to use it, n lambda equals d sine theta. n is called the order. The zero order is the straight through position. Uh, the first order is the first maximum, uh, then the second order, third order, etc. Theta is the angle for that particular order, and d is the slit separation, which I've just shown you how to work out. Uh, have a go at this question. Uh, light from a green laser is shone through a diffraction grating which has 300 lines per millimetre. The angular separation of both second order maxima is 37.2 degrees. Calculate this, that and the other. I'm not trying to trick you out. What you normally do is measure a, a higher order and then you measure the angle for that higher order on either side of the maximum. So uh, the answer is, and I've also put this last bit, how many orders will be possible? This is a very common question. And you basically find the value of n where sine theta equals one because theta is 90 degrees and it's the integer below that. So if you get an answer of 6.3, then you get six orders. Diffraction gratings are used to measure wavelength. Uh, a picture of the sun there because it, it is amazing how much we know about stars. We know how far away they are, we know what they're made of, we know how old they are, we know how hot they are. So much we know about stars is by looking at the light coming from stars and measuring the wavelengths of the light coming from stars and invariably we use a diffraction grating to do that.